Hey everyone, I just resetted my Touch Pro 2 here and I'm in macro mode now. I had a situation where the previous recording was in a macro mode and was getting focusing issues. Uh, sorry about that. So, well you didn't see that video because I didn't post it. So anyway, uh, my Touch Pro 2, I'm starting with the boot screen here because I wanted to show you my custom boot screen. That seems to be the, the rage these days. So why not join in on the fun? by having a Windows 7 boot screen. See that? It's really cool. Um, and this is my Touch Pro 2 Sprint Edition, CDMA version, meaning it has the 3.5 millimeter jack in it. Um, so it's gonna start with the lock screen here and I'm gonna take it off screen so I can unlock this device. And you don't see my information in the owner section of this lock screen. Which actually, I like having information there because if I lose the phone, um, some honest soul that wants to return the phone will know how to contact me but 99% of the time I'd say that if I lose such a phone as beautiful and functional as this somebody would just sell it on eBay or use it themselves but they wouldn't have access to the Sprint network because it would be a bad ESN device but anyway that's another topic so let me dismiss this a little slow initially booting up as is the case uh, with, um, I believe, most Windows Mobile devices, to tell you the truth. But I think that's an inherent thing in Windows um, that Microsoft has yet to figure out. But eh, I'm leaving that for another discussion. So what we have here is Sense UI 2.1. And you can tell that because down here in 2.5, you tend to have icons of your three most favorite applications. And I had 2.5, didn't like it, as I sp specified in another video I had. And 2.1 has been very quick for me. This is the Super ROM, as I stated before. And once it loads up, it's pretty much ready to go. Anywhere you want to go, it goes. The only problem I've had with this ROM is in the Music tab, where it shows up fine and everything. I mean, it takes a little long to kind of load up there. Once it does, it loads up the music. But the problem I have is that when you click on something, it doesn't react. It takes a while for it to kind of load up the application, and it just, I just don't like it. So I tend to use Windows, Windows Media Player. But anyway, that's another thing that I'm going to go into later. A few things I've done with this device is customize buttons on it. So something that I was really annoyed with with um, this device specifically, because I came from a Trio 800W, which had pretty much like 10 buttons on the front of it, um, excluding the keyboard. And those buttons were double presses, meaning you can do one press means something, two presses means something else, or holding it means something else. So on this device I decided to go with a more um, and I'm taking it off screen because I wanted to see if I had oh wow oh I think I programmed that okay yeah I'm not gonna show you it because it does show something important but if I hold this button so I programmed the button here to when I hold it it shows me my contacts this Windows Mobile version the Sensi Y version of contacts is very limited and doesn't give you a lot of functionality in terms of um, choosing people using typing in their name and stuff like that it's very slide very you know flick your finger kind of a setup and I don't like that too much um, but I'm gonna show you some button presses I've customized so this usually brings you to the start menu push start that's a uh, no-brainer but if you uh, double press this it rotates it I believe yeah it rotates the screen that's something I really like to do because what happens is I have gyrator as you're gonna see in the corner running and I saw the contacts I opened up before I closed that. Gyrator, what it does is it, you know, does the uh, uses the G sensor to kind of tell the orientation of the device. Sometimes when I'm using it, and I go into application and come back to the home screen, I'm in this mode, and I'm like, you know, I'm trying to landscape it, you know, by holding this phone up, and it's like, you know, giving me a pain, so I have to open it and close it, and that's stupid. So I decided to map this to a rotation button, and now that solved that issue. Um, another thing I did is this back button is very useful for other things other than the conference call mute. And I personally wasn't using it for conference calls or muting. If I'm using the phone, I'm using, using it with a headset because I usually make personal calls. So I decided this button is useless, so I decided to map it for other things. So if I click it once, essentially um, it loads up an application called Hibernate, which actually makes the device run a lot faster. So you can see how much faster that's running there. And a lot of stuff, you know, moves a lot quicker. See that? Bringing it down, bringing it down, a lot quicker. And so Hibernate is uh, this program here. 
and as soon as you, as soon as you click on it, it runs and it makes the device so much quicker. Um, that's pretty much that. Now if I double press it, it shows me do I want to reset the device and that's another thing I wanted. Instant resetting the device and that's a cool, app, a cool way to do that. If I close gyrator here, which I'm going to do right now, and I hold this button, it will actually load gyrator back up for me. And then um, you're going to see it up here. Yep. And so that is useful for things like um, the whole you're customizing using the stylus. We, you hear that beep, you know, that's gyrator doing all that stuff for me. Um, another button I customized was this button down here, where from in an application, it acts like the OK button on the top. So if, let's say I'm gonna open an application here. Um, let's say uh, Opera Mobile or something like that. Something that, you know, won't show any personal information. Uh, Opera Mobile loads up really quick on this device. I love it a lot. So let's say if I'm in this application and I'm like, oh, I don't want to use this anymore. I push that button. I didn't show you it. I'm do it again. Let me show you using Opera Mobile. So if I push that button once, it's a mail button, but I mapped it for OK. It goes away. I'm back there. Now, sometimes I want to close applications instantly. Um, so let's say if I um, double tap that button, then you notice it goes away, but it's... Oh, it's still there. I think I have to hold it. Let me see. Yeah, so if I hold the button, sorry, I got that confused. If I hold it, it closes the application. But if I tap it, it minimizes. So you see, there's so many different things you can do with with uh, um, this application. And the application is actually called... Um, it looks like I'm going to have to do Android in another video, guys, because I have too much stuff to tell you about this keyboard config application. It's great. I love it a lot. Um, and so if you can see there, I have mute, which is the back button in the back here. So you can see that. I have SMS, which is this button down here. No, excuse me. It's this button down here, which I mapped to not just SMS. I mapped it to all my mail stuff. And I'm not going to show you that because it's personal information. Um, but instead of it going directly to my SMS, now it shows me my, all my mail accounts and SMS. So that's cool. Mailbox is this button, which is now my OK or close button. These are supposed to be copy and paste, but they didn't work, so I um, I just left them alone. Function mailbox, I forgot what that does, so I'm actually gonna check. I'm actually gonna show you what it looks like. So if I click on this, and if I push edit, it's gonna show me, okay, well, if I click it once, it's gonna do a key press. Then I can say, okay, well, type a key press, and if I click here, then I know it's gonna be a tab. Oh, so what I wanted to do is an alt tab operation, and it wasn't working, so that's another thing that failed. So I wanted to do an alt tab um, kind of thing. And so I said this is alt and I also made another button tab. So I think um, something else was, I said this is alt, this is tab or something like that. And it wasn't working out so I decided to stop that. Um, home button is actually the windows button and that's what I showed you earlier on. So, you know, and I, I did, which button has the most? I think this button has the most, the, the home button. So I'm actually gonna show you all three of those, what those look like. So if you go to edit, and this is where the stylus is useful in these, these type of applications. These are a lot um, of um, stylus, um, stylus friendly versus finger friendly. So let me show you what it looks like when you come into this. So if you if you come into here, multiple app, um, what you have to do is when you set that button, you can put multiple actions, and then you can choose what you want to do. So if you could do click, double click, triple click, which I mean that's a pain to do triple click. So I I, I miss the I always skip those and long press so for this one for click that just brings up the windows uh, start menu double click brings up the screen rotation and uh, long press brings up an application so if you look in that go in there it says task manager so you can see that that's how that works and it's very intuitive I love it a lot and then when you're done you push up the config done you don't have to reset the device it all works all works great and then um, push OK up here and you're good to go. Now, I may actually map this button to be my OK button or my close button while I'm in this mode because it acts like a back button anyway. So I may push back, may double click, might mean close, and holding it might mean um, holding might mean close, and double click might mean minimize. Who knows? I might think about some other things, but yeah. So that's pretty much um, what I wanted to show you. My new UI interface. Oh, don't want to share the phone. Good, I didn't pick up the phone. My you new UI interface, um, some cool stuff I did there. Um, but since UI, you can see how fast this thing is running and it's still running fast. And this has been, I think, 
Um, I don't know how long it's been I've had this for, but I think it's about two weeks or so. Um, and I'm loving it. It's really fast, really quick, and you know that's pretty much it. So leave comments. Let me know if uh, you have any suggestions for me. And Android will be coming up next in another video. All right? This is Jim Merkin signing out.